All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to our playing of Pathfinder. We are playing The Dragon's Demand, a module levels one through seven. We've got uh, the usual suspects here. I am Sam Ryan. You can call me Ryan. You can call me GM. You can call me boss, whatever you want. And we do this as many Thursdays as we can live and also hits YouTube and catch us there. And you can also catch my podcast door to the north.com. We come out every Friday. So let's go around. Let's go. Uh, let's start with Scar. You're here. Really, the boss here on the neon swamp. Tell us about it. We're, we're all bosses. We're all we're all kings and queens, Ryan. A rat. A rat. <laughs> I'm Sean or Scar. I'm playing Crum. Crum is an half orc fighter. Illusions of grandeur, wanting to start his own uh, mercenary war band. Um, but we don't know if he's up to the task, really, to be honest. He might be a little too soft-hearted. We'll see. Uh, with that, I'll... Mercenary Warband is the name of my new band. <sighs> You're called Mercenary right. Warband Band? The band? <laughs> Mercenary Warband, the band? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the band comes after it. Uh, and I'll go upstairs to uh, Jer Bear. I'm sorry, Jerry. I, have to, I, I gotta stop that. I know, I know, I, I know a Jerry, and that is just ingrained in my skull and, and in real life. So I apologize. I've been called many, many other things. Uh, so that's fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, I I play the character Father Matthias uh, uh, Valera. I'm a, a cleric. I'm supposed to be the guy who heals everybody around me and gives them that, you know, that moral support that is really important in this kind of an adventure. How about, uh, how about Anthony, our, our buddy? So, I am Anthony. Um, I play the character Albert Broussard. Following you guys, um, picked up a couple hobbies on the road, whether it's putting uh, citizens of the caves to sleep or greasing them up. He's having a good time. Uh, personally, I'm happy to get back on it. Throw a little hiatus and ready to play. Oh, yeah. Acid to Nico. Hi, I'm Nico. Uh, I'm playing Ulrich Stormbringer, the Ulfin uh, Viking from the Norm Kingdoms with very, very, very big ambitions, probably even bigger than Crumbs. Uh, <laughs> And is somehow even more unrealistic. How big uh, is it, Ulrich? Well, <laughs> about dragon sized. <laughs> so it happens when you open the door, someone slams it. <laughs> okay, where were we? <laughs> we are in a kobold lair. We've been sent by the Baroness of Belheim to get rid of these kobolds. They're too close to her town. They're like a mile away or less. And she says, do something about it. I don't care what. You go over, you check it out, you head back to town, you get some supplies, you take a little nap, you come back. Uh, you meet a kobold female by the name of Nighttail. She's been imprisoned by these kobolds. She says that they're losers, that, that she's from another tribe and she came over here and these guys suck. So she's down. And we believe her without her. question. Yeah, I, think um, I, think you, I think you guys questioned her quite a bit before you untied her. Um, but then you did untie her, and you gave her back her bag of stuff, which she uh, told you had potions and wands. And um, I forget what else she's got in there. Good thing it's written down somewhere. Anyway, she said, I've got one more thing, and he is trapped over there. 
So she guided you to another door where she revealed a baby Allosaurus named Hack. And here we are. So, Nighttail and Hack are ready to join the party. You've got torches out. You're in the darkness. You are squeezing because these tunnels were dug by kobolds. It's all up to you guys. What do you do? All right, let's get in, get in the zone again. All right, I gotta get in that low voice that hurts my throat the next day every every night. Um, oh, fog of uh, <clears throat> fog of war is. Uh, mm, I think that I'm. I think I'm Nighttail. I think I'm going with a kind of a little person's voice like this, a little little uh, reptile person who talks like this. I'm Nighttail. Oh no, um, I'm Crumb. Gonna have a pretty good yeah yeah we've met this is just a good guy. dynamic because your voice right. is really high mine's really low yeah, yeah. it'll work out <laughs> all right <laughs> all right well uh pretty sure that we have nowhere else to go this way night tell we are after the tribe that in- imprisoned you We've been tasked with driving them off by any means necessary. Hopefully we can do it uh, diplomatically, but I'm open to options. What say you? Uh, I say yes. I know the way. Let me guide you. Please guide us with your pet dog. And she does so, moving deftly through the halls, not crouching much. And you follow her. She takes you south. Into a long hall. She says, this way. I'm stuck. I broke up. Nighttail, where exactly does this uh, tunnel lead? Uh, Nighttail says, <clears throat> she stops <laughs> and she turns and she says, this, this tunnel leads to a room with a trap. That's not the voice you said you were going to use. It's it's hard to it's hard to stick with a voice. Uh, uh, this isn't my native language. I speak um, whatever kobolds speak. Draconic, I think, is my native tongue. It's hard to say in common. Anyhow, uh, this tunnel leads to a room with a trap. Beyond that trap is a tunnel to a lower level. That is where the rest of the Blood Vow tribe w- will be. I picture like so they like Kobolds having this raspy, high pitched voice <laughs> when they're speaking common, but when they're speaking draconic to each other, it's like really refined, and they all sound like Benedict Cumberbatch to each other or something like. <laughs> Anyway, my favorite he- head cannon is that draconic. It's literally just French. <laughs> <laughs> um, very well. Um, all right. Uh, oh, me. Just wanted oh, a, a little bit of detail in case we needed to be prepared. Come, I'll I'll show you the trap. All right, uh, Nighttail moves you into this room. Let me give you a quick description. A thick layer of straw covers the floor of this cave. The cave's northern end hooks around a corner to the east and is out of sight from the south. So I think that I... I've done a little something with dynamic lighting here. Let me move that. And 
Nighttail points out this trap. Um, Can you disable it? Or should I just smash it? Hmm. Uh, a poison dart will fire from this hole in the wall. Uh, so, knowing that, we no longer need the perception check, but we still need a disabled device check. Um, Ulrich will step up and check here. Let me do it. Just for some reason, the Viking is the only one with disabled device in this team. I have a negative seven, so you don't want me doing it. Okay, right now. Why do you always sound tired, Ulrich? Uh, I just am. Don't we have that? There's there's the tools as well. No. Yes, it's, it, I have it added in there already. Oh. Just remember that. Nice. And the character of Ulrich is from another time zone, so that's why he's always so tired. Touche. All right. Well, yes, you, uh, you you definitely disable this. You're confident that you've disabled this trap. Oh, yeah. And now you find beyond that little uh, hook around uh, a hole in the ground it goes deeper. Another shitter. No. This is the that way we uh, we get up and down. We don't have uh, th th there is a, there is I believe a rope um, available here. All right, well let's press on. No time to lose. Yes, there's a thick knotted rope which hangs down into the hole. Uh, so that's just a, a DC five climb check and. If you fail, then you fall 20 feet. Not so bad, but at level two, it would it would hurt. So, I don't think I can. I can, even can fail that. Very good fail. for you. Well, yeah. there's no critical skill fails. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I have a, even I if you roll a one and you have a climb. plus four, you, you still make it. <laughs> Do you still want me to roll? I have a seven and climb. So. Uh. Well, no. Then you're fine. Now, who, who's going first is the real question. Well, Matthias is going to hold back a little bit and say, uh, you, <laughs> you, uh, you fighter type, uh, go, go, go first. I'll, I'll hang back with Albert and we'll come after. It's a wise plan, Father Matthias. So, uh, you said uh, uh, the DC five? Yes. Just a climb check. I mean, Just a little climb check. So who's going first? I'm terrified of climbing, personally. Um, but I'm wearing chain mail, which um, I don't think that has a. What's the time limit to remove your a chain shirt? Time limit? I don't know. Uh, if it's up to me, it's uh, thirty seconds. Well, <laughs> oh, oh! How much time does it take? I, um... Do you, Do you need to take it off? Is it that restrictive? Yes. Oh well, that. Then we take twenty here. Get down this room. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh... <laughs> It, it takes it takes Crumb a little bit of time to take his chainmail shirt off. He's probably got gear on top of it and whatnot. Take all that other gear off, then take the chainmail off. Uh, th then what? Um, yeah, honestly, taking a... twenty would probably take longer than me just doing the odds and removing my check penalty real quick. Can we set up a makeshift police system and lower him down into the hole? Um. So while I'm doing that, I guess I'll be last to go down. <laughs> yeah, I get a negative five check penalty because of my chainmail. FYI, so, that's why I'm doing this. So I'll first. 
Yeah, sure. I'll go first. I'd okay. I'm gonna even see in the dark. Okay. Um. um yeah, and and, and yeah, it is dark down in the hole. Um. What are we? What are we gonna do about that? Um. Ulrich has a torch, but I uh, I believe you need both hands free to to climb. I'll um. I mean, it's a torch. I'll just drop it down the hole to the bottom. Okay, sure. That should also help with climbing down, since knowing how far away you are from the ground would be good, instead of just, like, continuing to climb while you, and just landing on your foot. Okay. Uh, so, you drop the torch down, and then you climb down, no problem. Um, Once I'm down there, I pick it back up. <laughs> sure, well, yeah, you get down there, and... You see a new room at the only entrance exit to that room. You see a kobold. He saw that torch drop down there and he is running away from you. Um, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, and I'll do my check too. Well, let's. Uh, Wow. You guys are going to go down at the same time? I, I'll go after him. Apparently, I'll fall on top of him. <laughs> uh, Ryan, when, it's asked, when I click roll, it's giving me a... Ask me if I want to uh, take. That's me what? Just awful. We both fall. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's oh, man. <laughs> it's... We take the L's here <laughs> from... I, I consider you a wuss getting undressed. <laughs> <laughs> How far is this hole I missed? <laughs> oh man. Um yeah, it's it's a twenty foot drop. Oh so, sheesh. So that's two D six. Um you both try to go at the same time and um both miss the rope and just go clattering down. Uh Jerry wants to roll his own damage. Um and he, you, you can do that too. No, roll. no, no. I'll, I'll roll yours for you. But yeah, Jerry elected to give himself ten damage. I'll roll for you though, is and We're off to a great start. Tonight. Oh my god. Beautiful. It would it would um, be amazing if Matthias that, dies so, falling so, down a rope. So three damage for good old Albert and 10 damage for young, tough, super smart Father Matthias. I was going to say earlier, uh, Jerry's comment was like, no, Jerry, we're going to make sure that Matthias survives or Crumb will die before he lets Matthias die. (laughs) Uh, Out of my hands here. (laughs) As long as the cleric is hurt, I know he's going to heal. All right, so... um, Let's let everybody get down before I heal. Crumb Crumb sees the two of them fall. Uh, You guys can uh, actually put a prone badge on yourself and stop moving around, please. Um, I'm trying to find my torch. (laughs) Yeah, don't worry about the torch. (laughs) Torch is down there. Maybe it's burning a hole in your leg. But um, Crumb sees the two the two goofballs uh, just basically try to like fight over the rope, and they both go falling down. And then, um, of course, Ulrich sees the two of them fall down right next to him. Um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, I think, I think I think that is a great start. Um, and then the the kobold uh, gives a quick ha, and and then heads off around the corner. Um, and then Crumb. with with an amazing initiative roll. Uh, <laughs> Gets, uh, all, so he's now now he's just got all of his gear in his hands, his armor in one hand, backpack and weapons, bandolier whatnot in the other hand. Um, it should be a seventeen. I don't know why it's not adding my strength mod because I unchecked equip for my armor. I figured that would have taken it off, but I don't know. Hmm. Sometimes you may have to recal. Oh, yeah. Well, that would have been a 17, just for the record, I suppose. <laughs> Wonderful. You uh, you climb down. Uh, I, I guess you drop all your stuff down the hole and then climb down. 
Does it uh, hit us? Because we're laying at the bottom of the hole. That's um, right. you you can give me a reflex save because because you asked. Yes. Oh. Uh, I don't think I would do that. I would just oh. put on my pack. Uh, some some just some stray stones fall down. <laughs> a good a good warrior treats his armor well. Matthias manages to dodge the, 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 the large stones that also fall down. I, I know this is harming myself, but just for the comedic effect, should I just do a reflex save to see if any of those two chuckle fucks fell on me? Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> just for comedic effect. Why not? It's hilarious. It just gets better and better. Isn't there a way to make the rules appear like they're coming from Crumb? We always go over this, I feel like, and I forget. Yeah. Under the chat thing, it says, as... Ah, thank you, thank you, I see it. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, yeah, so, so uh, somebody lands on Ulrich, and he'll take... Uh, how much damage do you elect to take, Nico? <laughs> well, who landed on me? I uh, will say we'll say that was Father Matthias, because of how his, much does uh, Father old... Matthias weigh? <laughs> I weigh 165. 20 feet, 165, that would be uh, like uh, a 1d8, I think. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> it's a duel, right? What's your con yeah. monitor? You're gonna add that. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I'll go with what, the 1d8 unless Ryan... Oh yeah, this is you guys' mini game that you're playing, so do whatever you want. Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's great to be back. <laughs> yeah, now I, I take my chainmail off um, um, and strap my shield to my pack, hoist, kind of hoist, uh, hang my chainmail between my shield and my pack, as it were. Uh, put it back um, on my back and I'm down like a normal, not weird person, not safely away from the other two. <laughs> All right, solid. Um, then I do a backflip while unwieldy, unwielding my battle axe as I am only 10 feet from dropping and do a three-point landing. Just kidding. All right. Um, let's see here. Night Tail climbs down with ease and she says I'm leaving Hack up there he's too young for this did you leave him some food he might get hungry up there you know yes he'll be fine alright I have a passion for animals so I just I could serve so I think only truly Ulrich knows about the hobgob not the hobgoblin the kobold who uh, was in this room who just darted around a corner. I think that only Ulrich was privy to that uh, no, sight. Yeah, um, honestly, when they get down there, I say, there was a cobalt down here when I came down. He pointed and laughed at these two. And then ran down the hallway. And you didn't chase him, why exactly? Because I had a priest fall on me. <laughs> kind of looks at Matthias and looks back at you. And just kind of starts putting his armor back on. <laughs> oh, climb checks. Gotta love them. I, I look at everybody and I go, oh, here we go. Expect a trap. And I... Uh, I decided to channel positive energy to heal everybody up who's had some damage. So that's a D6. Hopefully... No, that's a little something. A little something some. A little something some. Back to... Nice city. Night tail readies her spear. Night tell you move with great guile. Can you maybe 
Scout ahead and see if they've repaired something without being detected. Um... The... The... The, the yellow-haired one says they already saw us. Okay, but get, straps a shield on, grabs his battle axe, and kind of grips it really tightly and cracks his neck. All right, let's get ready. <clears throat> Albert's going to cast mage armor on himself using a uh, special item. All right, uh, you guys are all moving out of turn order, so let's go ahead and get you out of turn order once again. Um... I do like the touch that a kobold wouldn't understand hair colors. Yellow. So you want us to re re-roll initiative? Um, only if you're initiating combat. Okay. I don't see anything to combat right now. I'm about to initiate it on these bitch-ass turtles. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, you see a small pond with some fair sized turtles mm -hmm. and you see uh, this kobold on the other side of the pond uh, perhaps you see him perhaps you don't uh, but he's over there and he's got his little piece of cloth with leather and a rock in it and he's spinning it and uh, he tries to just zing it right up that hallway at you um, I forget what my buff is. Let me just roll a d20. Probably not going to hit. But anyways, he cracks one off at you. And that's uh, that's him initiating combat. So, why don't we all click on our tokens, not our torches, and go to our character sheets and roll for initiative. I had to reload, sir. That you know what this kobold is also gonna reload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. You guys are all welcome to replace your tokens anytime. Um, I'll just have to mess around with the HP bars and the names and whatnot, vision, all that kind of stuff. So um, you can replace your tokens and your artwork all you want, but then I'll still have to go through that last step. Um, just let me know. Okay, so as always, you can uh, delay or you can yeah, ready. I would an like action. to. I would like to to, to do. Um, after. Oh, uh, before Ulrich. All right, so so you're delaying. Uh, so uh, Jerry, what is what is Father Matthias gonna do? Father Matthias is going to cast Shield of Faith upon himself. All right. As usual, if you could just note that in the Roll20 chat for the record. And then, um, are, we, are we still delaying for Albert? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, this kobold is a quick reload. He just fires off another sling attack up this hallway at crumb um my sling attack is plus three let me tape that in and good old crumb sadly i believe he's flat-footed always oh, flat-footed 18 this little d20 sized stone fires right down the hallway how's an 18 hit you cover I have barely poking out from that side uh, plus four uh, to your cover so is your flat footed 14 uh, then that would not hit all right so this stone just rattles down the hallway and for some reason Matthias just got <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't. Uh, I don't know what happened. My my, uh, my token disappeared, and I so I drug another one out here. I don't, you'll have to resize it or something. 
Uh, okay, I, I see two tokens for you oh, now. Let me fix that. Hold on. Okay, so Ulrich, what what do you want to do? Well, I see getting crumb, just rocks flying past. He's under fire. I will. You can move to allies, so I will just. Uh... Oh, please don't tell me. No, don't tell me that I got stuck in the wall here. No, thank God. Yeah. That's. I. Yeah. I can move to here. And. As you do so, you notice these two kobolds flanking you on either side with reach weapons and they do their little giggle and they hit you they were prepared this was all a trap okay so you enter this uh room it has a large pool of dark water in the middle and uh low-hanging ceiling um these guys as i said they've got these reach weapons um oh they are flanking but let's just add that afterwards so here's the roll and we'll add two after the fact all right so that's a seven that's definitely a miss and then here's his buddy also trying uh, that'll be 13, also missed, I presume. Uh, uh, yes, by one. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, you are in some... You're in a slippery spot there. Um, uh, yeah, I, this, I have five feet of you, movement left. You, you notice that that little area that is between Crumb and Ulrich is a little bit of a different color. Um, <sighs> can that guy hear it? Do an A up on me after he can't, can he? Yes, they both have reach weapons. Uh, I'll risk the A up to finish my, to use up the rest of my movement to go after this guy. Crumb can go after him. All right, give me that A up. All right, here it is. Um, again, it is flanking, so um, natural one. That's skirting on metagaming there, bud. Uh, and uh, I'll just attack with my longsword, which since I was moving, I drew during that because I was charging towards where known enemies. I was like, non mechanical charge, yes, yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me, yeah, this is still a squeeze, right? Yes, okay, I'll let me enable that. There we go. Oh. 15 hits, 7 slashing damage on this poor young kobold just trying to defend his home. Um, Alright, so he is damaged. Um, anything else? Dialogue? Free actions? I'll uh, shout back to Krom and say, uh, watch out one on the right when you exit. Got it. Albert, Albert had delayed. Does Albert want to do anything yeah. now? I suppose I, suppose I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here. Well, I have to drive myself, but this is all. Uh, I'm just gonna walk here and I suppose just end. Can't see anything. Okay. But I am stuck. <laughs> um, there you go. Thank you. If you press... Uh, alt, it's all I forgot, and then I remembered as soon as I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, I almost forgot to roll Night Tails initiative. Um, do that right now. And we'll just say that Night Tail had delayed, so... I'm gonna do what I do best. Charge in blindly. And hit anything that isn't nailed down. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's see, that poor little baby there is in my path, so whack. 
I said whack. Ooh. And miss. Yes, that is a miss. Like to spin a chip to re-roll that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have my home address. You can you can send me. Uh, oh, look at my delayed second attack. Okay, Father Matthias hears all this commotion, and uh, he decides that he's going to move up and kind of kind of look look around that corner to see. Oh, see sorry. what he can see. I forgot to use a free action. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, is it okay if I do that real quick? Yeah, what's up? I uh, he's I uh, Crumb would yell out now that I have a full scope of the situation. Uh, you somebody to take out this slinger. He's shooting me and Ulrich. Or not shooting us. He's pelting me and Ulrich. <laughs> so. As I move, I draw my crossbow, and I stop just short of the uh, the, the hallway and load it. And that's my turn. Okay. So next up, we got the shooter, and he is going to. Um. Oh wait, I don't, wait, do I have these bad guys on the initiative? I don't. Um, so we'll just, we'll just say that they go on the shooter's turn. So, um, all three of, all, all, all these guys, uh, this kobold here with Ulrich uh, takes five foot step back and attacks again. With his with his pole arm, uh, no longer flanking. Fifteen to hit. That hit. Nice. Um, so let's see here. These two kobolds flank the northern tunnel entrance, awaiting the alarm from the guard. Both are armed with pole arms, allowing them to make trip attacks against someone who steps into the room. A character that is tripped in the rubble-strewn square at the entrance must succeed a DC 12 reflex save or stumble into the pool of water. Yeah, what's the deal with these fucking turtles, dude? They're freaking they they're freaking me out, and I don't know why. Three cranky snapping turtles, each the size of a heavy shield. And oh. they are ready to immediately attack anyone who goes into the water. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fall in a pool of snapping turtles, that's for damn sure. <laughs> no, especially if they're that big. I mean, even a, even one the size of a football, take your finger off, but these guys will take your arm off. So, well, let's see here. Um, he, he, he was successful with his... With his attack, and I believe that they want that to uh, grant a trip attack. Um, not sure that that's how that works, but hey, I'm just reading the book. Um, all right, so a mere two damage, and then let's just. Do what they say, keep it simple, and um, Ulrich, please give me a reflex save. I'm on it, boss. All right, DC 12. We make it. Hell yeah. And... Okay, so that was that one kobold. Now let's have this one. Um, he's gonna move and provoke from Crump. I just used the earlier roll I accidentally made. Just kidding. Oh. 14. <laughs> Darn. No, 14's not gonna do it. So, he manages to scoot, and then he attacks you as well with his reach weapon. Um, and probably does not get you. But, Real point is that he gets his buddies out of uh, uh, the shooter. Gets you got gets his buddies out of there so he doesn't suffer his um, 
precise shot, uh, his lack of precise shot. Here's a sling attack. Let's say, uh, let's go 50-50 here. Let's do a D2. Uh, one is crumb and that'll be crumb. So let's, sh let's sling a rock at this ugly half orc. Natural. Ooh, girl. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta start slinging more insults, and then my then my sling attacks will hit. All right, let's confirm that shit. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Um, so, sling damage. Do I have that typed in? Mm. Uh, critical failure doesn't, you know, just cancel out the attack all together. Uh, Alright, D3 <laughs> minus one sling damage as usual. If we get a zero or a negative somehow, then that's just non-lethal damage. Um, Alright. One lethal damage. And that's all of them. Ulrich. Alright. So I know you can't five foot step and move in the same turn, but can I five foot step and charge in the same turn? No. Okay. How sad. Because he's just you're, you're like you're like a toy that you rev back and then launch forward. Yeah, he just he's no, just one tile too close <laughs> to me to charge here. So I'll uh, five foot step towards him and just attack him with my longsword then. Jeez, the trip attack uh, rules in Pathfinder 1E is vague. Yeah, I believe that I should have done a whole nother combat maneuver check, but they're trying to say that the floor is slippery. Uh, Doesn't even say that. Like, in the trip attack, there's like nothing about trip hardly in the in the book. Like, at all. Kind of your discretion. Ulrich. Alright, Ulrich can describe his kill. Jesus. In, in character, Ulrich himself can describe it. <laughs> I okay. entered the cavern of the kobolds. As I entered the cavern <laughs> and I saw before me a pool of tree turtles. A kobold on my left and a kobold on my right. I chose the one on my left. He looked a bit funny to me. I went after him and as I attacked him he backed off and then attempted to trip me into the pool. That really pissed me off. So I cut that motherfucker into five pieces. Man, tree kobolds. God, I thought they were subterranean. <laughs> A <boy. laughs> uh, I swear. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Anthony, it's Albert's turn. Indeed it is. Well, I'm going to attempt to see... Uh, I'm actually still stuck. <laughs> Your mic's going in and out, is. Is it? It's strange. I'll move a little closer. Okay. I will. Are we still squeezed, Ryan? Yes. Okay. Low ceilings. Attempt to. Is this the slinger back here? No, no, it's uh, right. he's just on the other side of the pool. What okay. is that in that other room? You don't know. Uh, okay. Um, I would attempt to acid splash the cobalt sling. That's the wrong roll. Um, let me re-roll. That was if he was engaged, but take well. Me. What, what we tend to do is we take the, the die rolls oh, yeah. in health well, and then just swap in the correct truly. modifiers. Um, so I feel as though it's die. not going to make a difference. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all I'll do. Okay. Um, yeah. Some some acid hits the wall, I guess. Um, uh, okay. Nighttail will... Come in, um, spear at the ready, and let's see, let's see, that's 
Uh, that's 40 feet of movement. Let me just double check on her movement. Maybe she'll move a little bit more. Uh, Crumb. Uh, Crumb will take a five foot step to his right and um, go into total defense. That's it. All right. Nighttail has 30 foot speed, so she's pretty swift. She moves right on in. She's got that spear at the ready. And anything else from Crumb? No, no. All right. I mean, the the, tur- the snappy turtles are clearly visible, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Anybody falls in there, it's their own damn fault. <laughs> It, it is a dark pool. I, I could have um, put them on the GM layer, uh, but I doubted anyone was just going to be jumping in there of their own accord. So um, they're hungry. They're they're vicious. They're snapping. It's hard to miss them. Um, Doubly noted. Jerry. Okay. Father Matthias says, okay, it's time to get moving here. So he carefully goes around that corner and uh, starts to work his way toward this area to see what else he can see. He can't see too much, but he's going to attempt to fire his crossbow at this guy right here. Is that Mike? Yeah, that's Mike. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what happens with the crossbow. Crossbow attack. Crossbow. <laughs> Doesn't look like it happens. But it was a nice idea. All right. Um, now yeah. we've got that's anything it. else, Jer? Nope, that's it. Okay. Um, I'm just looking around at my uh, at my passageways here. Um, let's have let's have this one south of Crumb attack once again. Let's see, um, maybe I can get uh, another natural twenty. There it is. What the <laughs> fuck? Gotta summon that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's confirm the crit. Uh, Fourteen. No, not in full defense. Oh, no. All right, let's give you some damage. Max da- No, that's not max damage. But anyways, uh, mm, three points of lethal damage as this spear weapon chops into you. All right, so three damage, and now this guy here down with the sling, he will do a sling attack. Um, somebody just shot a crossbow at him. Somebody just threw acid at him. Um, somebody just killed his friend. Let's do a D3 on those three. And we'll go Albert 1, Matthias 2, Ulrich 3. Here's a D3. Alright, Matthias. The guy with the unloaded crossbow. Let's attack him with the sling. 21 to hit. That hits. All right, here's some sling dam. Max damage. Two lethal points. And that's it for my two brave kobolds. Ulrich. Yeah, well, uh, I should about to be one brave kobold if I get an actual good roll for once. That crit was promising, at least. Maybe my curse is broken. So, yeah, I'll move around the pool and then, uh, should I do a power attack for this? Why wouldn't you? You make a fair point. So yeah, uh, power attack this boy. 
Well, unfortunately, if you had taken the power attack off, you would have hit. I'm never listening to you again, Sean. <laughs> they have 15 AC. Statistics. Their AC is 15. Just <laughs> attack. So Ulrich, with a torch in one hand and a long sword in the other, all of his muscles flexing as hard as he can. The kobold's just like, oh, dude, choreograph your swing much? Um, and then it's Albert's turn. Unless Ulrich, you got anything else? Some dialogue or free action? Well, uh, I just saw two things right below me. Uh, so I will shout to the rest of the group. We got more company down here. Okay. I'm going to just move forward on the sledge here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Ulrich will cast. I'm gonna get greasy. Um, to throw it in there in the yeah. chat. Thirty foot range. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it right there. Like, can't like do the thing. Well, I can't. Drop it right. Can I hit this cobalt right? The square or the square? Um, trying to deduce. You, the, your, your, your line there is, is hitting part of a wall, um, and you're casting it actually into darkness from from where oh, right. it looks like you are. Um, you can see that, which is weird. Well, Ulrich has a torch. Yeah. It's still darkness, then? No, no. You, I, I was just looking at the stream uh, oh, to okay. judge uh, how much how much you could see in there. I remember uh, that's my perspective, though. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. So, what do you? Whoops! I'm sorry. I was just clicking on your token so that I could see through your eyes. Yeah. Um. Curious position. I just want to do a 10 foot square of grease right there. The, the thing is, you, you don't know what's. I, I haven't described anything in that room just uh, yet. Um, okay. Uh, um, I was just, yeah, you know, putting it on the ground because I knew. I was just warned that there's people coming from there. I guess it wasn't. Yeah, that's not an accurate. Uh, okay. That's cool. Then I will. Uh, I'll just try to ask to splash the um, the slinger. Oh, that's versus touch, right? Um, yeah, it's touch. Ooh, they're they're wily. They're little and quick. Uh, Here they are. Doesn't do it. I will pass to uh, Night All Tail. Right. All right, sorry to uh, mess up your turn there. Uh, Night Tail will, I suppose, huh, kind of kind of trapped here. Uh, Night Tail will frogger on the backs of the turtles. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Night Tail will move up uh, to back up Ulrich, and uh, that's really it. Uh, because it is cramped in here. Crump. Uh, five foot step forward and swing. Hell yeah. Swing. The nope. battle axe. Oof. Maybe with a little flanking or less squeezing. I want to hit. Um. All right. Top of the turn order. In the back, you, sir, the priest, would you like to do something? Um, is there metal in the pole arms? Uh, the blades are made of metal. The poles are made of wood. Uh, I actually am going to cast a spell. Uh, we'll attempt to cast a spell on this guy right here. And what it is, 
It's um, it is murderous command. Basically, what it says is um, you have to do a will save. DC 15 save uh, will negate it, but if you fail, you will attempt to kill the nearest of your own allies. All right, there's a 13 will save. So that's failed, which means that you will you will immediately run over and try to kill your nearest ally. All right. Well, I don't even really need to run since I have a reach weapon. So I just wheel around and try to stab this dude. Um, and here's... Uh, it. Let's see. It is my turn now. So anything else from you? Uh, no. That's... that's um, oh, I, I have a... What does this look like? What does the spell look like when you... And do you have to say something? Looks like you do. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, I reach in, reach in, into into the center of my being, and I and I grab with both hands, and I throw toward toward him, and almost a sparkly, shininess rolls out toward him that wraps around the top of his head, and then it squeezes in closer and closer. And I say, the bad is Okay, here's his attack on his friend. Natural one. That's a really in your favor tonight, Jesus <laughs> Christ. He drops his polar. Uh, is that what you want? Is that when you roll a natural one, you want your you need to drop your weapon? I, I yeah I, I want to drop his weapon. I thought okay, we so this, um, is, this for... is gonna be called the Jerry rule when anyone ever drops when anyone rolls a natural one, everyone drops their weapon and we'll call that the Jerry rule. Is that what we all want to agree to? Well, I thought we actually discussed about critical fumble and critical success, uh, uh, the cards. Yes, we we did talk about that and uh, and that. Is not gonna be a confirmed fumble. Aw, uh, so sad. Okay. Okay. So, 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 just Good. so you guys understand, when you roll a one, that does not automatically mean you're going to the crit cards. Uh, that means that you need, need to roll that attack again and miss the attack, and then if you miss on the confirmation, then you'll go to the fumbles. Also. I would like to have a rule that this is only for named characters. Every single little scrub kobold that I have attack you, I don't want to have to go to the fumbles or to the crits. They don't deserve it. So for the NPCs, they need to be named NPCs. Okay, so what I'm hearing is attack every villager. True. <laughs> cool. Well, we villagers are named. All right, so all that taken care of, and and I reload my crossbow. Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I uh, didn't move. All I did was cast. All right, sure. Why not? So I get to reload my crossbow. You get to do that. Um, so this guy next to Ulrich, he was rocking his sling, but now Ulrich has gotten up in his face. He quickly pulls his spear and tries to jab it in ya. Let's see what we can do here. Spear attack is a plus one. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another natural one. Good thing he's just a little fella. He's not a named character. Barely worth the spells you're casting on him. But that was his turn. And Ulrich, it's now your turn. Oh, good thing he didn't move away because I can just try another uh, attack on him. 
and uh, Octad Power Attack. We are not doing that again. Oh, oh somehow even worse. Jeez, I was gonna even maybe consider him flanked by his friend. Uh, how long is that murderous command gonna last here? It's uh, one. Oh, okay. So okay. it's already it's already exhausted itself. Yeah. Um, it's one round. Okay. Anything else from Ulrich before we move to Albert? Uh, no. All right. Okay. Is, is this guy dead, Ryan? Sure. Yes. Okay. Totally dead. I don't have to uh, snap his neck or anything. Nope. He's, he's not breathing. I'm going to go ahead and move. Just stand on him. That's rude. Um, actually, I'd like to be here. Ah. <sighs> Can't see there, I suppose. I will target the sling man. Is he alive? Yes, but he dropped his sling. Okay. He's he's uh engaged to Ulrich. They're engaged. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. I will attempt to splash him and continue to fail. Um, just kind of spurts out of my ring. Disappointingly, leaving me wanting, and I will pass my turn. All right, it's like a bad magic trick. Um, Nighttail is like watching you guys work. <laughs> um, you're, not really, like there. <laughs> you're not really sure um, what that expression on her face is. Um, Crumb, what are you, Crumb, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna miss. This is truly rather pathetic. <laughs> it has something to do with tomorrow being Friday. <laughs> uh, Nighttail actually goes and picks up the pole arm of the fallen kobold. Um in order to try to do something. Um, and Crumb attempts with that battle axe once again. It's just too cramped in here. He's having to duck. There's like stalactites in his face. Okay. Save the day. Yes. Really rough. Um... I guess Father Matthias could take a five foot step forward along with his thing here. He is going to attempt to fire at this guy right here. I guess it's a minus four. Is that what it is? Not going to be much fun. It's probably going to be a failure, but we'll give it a try. Well, Gotta try. Yep. So there you go. It's definitely a failure. Okay. And reloads his. Uh, reloads his his crossbow. All right. Um, perhaps in the south in the south here. Perhaps it's only Ulrich who can see this, but a kobold. Um, kind of uh, tucks in another kobold, you know? Uh, the, the the kobold who's staying is uh, laying down on a little bed type thing. And the other kobold, like I said, kind of tucks him in, tucks that other kobold in, and then runs off down to the south. And the two kobolds here... Um, they're gonna, they're gonna just, uh, man, this one here fighting Crumb, it's gonna five foot step in order to keep utilizing the reach weapon. 
Here's that attack on Crumb. Natural 20. What? That's three in a fucking row. Let's confirm this. Let's get it. I've been rolling negative for 45 minutes. <laughs> you need to confirm? <laughs> no. Like, okay, goddamn. All, right. All right, so just normal damage. Uh, that's one point of damage. Then the other one with a spear against Ulrich. That's a miss. Okay. That's their turn. Then Ulrich. I'll just uh, attempt another attack on this guy in front of me. Not much else to do here unless I want to go down to the sleeping kobold or play around with some turtles in the water. I vote turtles. <laughs> of course you do. But yeah, no, I'll attack this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, obviously does not confirm, but six damage is almost enough to kill him. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the one that ran away after talking to him. Um, just shout, we got another runner down here. Wait, these small creatures have reach on us, by the way? I'm just realizing this. So, yes. Um, <clears throat> if we want to talk about reach, uh, certain weapons have reach, regardless of their size. They have long spears? Um... Yes, this pole arm has reach, even if it's a small weapon, uh, even if it's a large weapon, it still has just normal reach. So the size of a weapon does not have anything to do with reach. Um, the size of a creature could grant the creature reach, and then a reach weapon could grant additional reach. Uh, and that's that. So the good thing is, you can step under his reach. What? If you get inside of his reach, then yeah, you, can, you can get under his reach. Inside. Inside his reach. reach. Yeah. What does that um, mean? It means that if you get in your five feet from him and his weapon hits at ten feet, you're too close for him to use his weapon on you. Oh, yeah. okay. Noted. All right, uh, Albert. Indeed. Um, I'm going to attempt to splash this target that seems to be not engaged. If that's true. Um. It, so this is how I'm judging. This is how I'm uh, decreeing this. He's engaged with Crumb, but Crumb's not engaged with him. So that's he's a clean target for you. Does that make Good. sense? Makes perfect sense. I will attempt to splash him. That will hit his touch. 13 will hit his 12 touch AC. Well, I hope he enjoys maximum damage. <laughs> Ooh, it sizzles all over his scales. Yeah. <clears throat> I will pass. Any, any, any flavor, text, dialogue, anything like that? No, I remain rather coy. All right. Uh, Nighttail will pick up this pole arm. Not sure if she's proficient with it or not. I'm going to worry about that in a moment after I roll the d20. If I roll low, who cares? All right, so. Uh, she tried. But she's got this reach weapon. She's trying to get it around Ulrich in order to attack his target. Um, she made an effort. <laughs> Crump. Uh, five foot step forward. Oh, God, not in there. And, um... Yeah. Oh, too late. I saw it. You jumped in the, <laughs> with the turtles. I went for... I wanted to go for a swim, dude. He dips his little toe in and just... 19 for Ooh, 7 no. damage. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so, um... You don't necessarily kill this thing, but you put it to zero hit points, 
and it goes prone. Beautiful. Okay, you guys have one bloody kobold left. You probably don't recognize him, but he was actually on guard outside at the front door. And he has been running his little kobold legs for hours. He had a little rest. He got a little healing. And um, here he is again, just fighting for his life. Father Matthias. Father uh, Matthias is going to look over at him and says, It's familiar to me. I, I think maybe... Oh, yes, I saw... Here, let me just fire my... My uh, crossbow. I Laser. No, oh. <laughs> okay. Sweet crit like damage. Three one, hit, one hit point of damage. <laughs> All right, so yes, your your crossbow bolt lands true, and he falls, um, choking on blood, and uh, he's unconscious. <clears throat> Perhaps he'll die from his wounds. And perhaps you're out of combat. And I, I don't like that. Perhaps I, I reload my crossbow. Well. Do you have the turn action to do that? Ulrich, what do you do? Well, I mean, I saw one of them run down the hallway in here, and there's that one in bed. So I'm just going to carefully come down here, look down that hall <laughs> to see where he went. And that well, it, the hallway opens up to a wider hallway. I saw you quickly remove his token there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Glad you saw that. <laughs> uh, well, since I don't see him there, I want to have a look at this one. Then. All right, I feel like we're out of combat. Yeah. Sounds like it. Unless someone steps into that pool. Crum will gingerly slide the unconscious kobolds with his foot into the pool and walk past them. See where the fuck Ulrich just went. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you, do the snapping turtles feast? Oh, they do. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you enter this room to the south of the uh <clears throat> Excuse me. B11 is titled The Snapper Pool. A large pool of dark water sits in the middle of this large but low ceilinged cavern. You move in to B13 and a single small pallet is heaped with furs and sits atop the south wall of this cave. And a uh green scaled uh kobold uh her scales dull green and is this a good picture nope it's red but, <laughs> <laughs> um it's the other uh, <laughs> her her eyes are are clenched tightly shut but she positions herself she kind of almost sits up a little bit and I I uh you know you guys are so bad at this that you misgendered the kobold and thought that uh, he was a she I don't know what your problem is but um, you can clearly tell that this is a male kobold uh, get it together come on uh, so this uh um, apparently old male kobold kind of props himself up on an elbow and says <clears throat> as as you guys well uh Ulrich is right next to him um Crum is in the mouth of the, the the doorway of the room and the 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 cowards are in the back all right so <clears throat> um he says i can tell by your scent 
that you are strangers here. And maybe you guys come in. Maybe you uh, get brave and decide to become audience to this. If my nose tells the truth, you bring the destruction that I foretold. Good. Good. I had hoped to see our ruin before journeying to the afterworld. And he gestures to his eyes, which are clenched shut. But I will settle for listening to it. And he gestures, beware the great scaly beast, strangers. He seems to speak reason, but his words are poison. And his bats, the ones he called from the darkness, they are harbingers of lunacy and chaos. Dread Lord Ateperax will surely be your doom as he has been ours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he clutches a uh, item in his, in his clawed hand. You all stand around, shocked silence. Oh no, I'm gonna say something as soon as your monologue's over. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems that the act of speaking was too much, and he dies. His blankets do not collapse into nothingness. <laughs> his corpse remains, his hand clutching at something, and he sighs his last breath. <sighs> Crumb's literally gonna say out loud, what the fuck? Uh, uh, Margaret, that was quite theatric. The little guy. What's he holding? I don't know about that prophecy bullshit, but we had another one that ran down that hallway. Crumb <laughs> 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 says, yeah, but let, let's see what he's clutching in his hand first. Crumb will gruffly grasp the dead kobold by his neck, lift him up to his shoulder uh, height. You rip this decrepit ancient body out of his deathbed and rattle his freshly died corpse. Not very nice. Good alignment, by the way. What? Uh, what is he clutching? What is he clutching? Well, uh, you know, after Crumb just uh, just shakes his corpse like a like a rag doll, uh, he he drops a small box. Uh, which is attached to a leather cord. Watch in the box. Sorry, we just got a uh, resub from Mr. Govin. Go. What's up, Govin? Um, I, I have not been looking at the stream much here. Do I know anybody in here? I've, I've been uh, recruiting a couple people. It's got some people who said they were going to be here, but anyhow, I'm just here for the players. What's up, players? What are we doing here? What, fr what? Freehand, as he's still holding him up by his neck, he's going to rip this off his neck, drop the uh, dead kobold like a sack of potatoes, oh. and he's going to smell it. Wow. This kobold was all peaceful in his deathbed, and he just shake his corpse around, throw him on the ground. Crumb's a little upset right now, and that's apparent at this point to everybody. Yikes. I would like to ask Night, Night Gale if, uh, Nighthawk, if, who, who is this other kobold? Does she know him? Nighttail. Nighttail. I wish it was Nighthawk. I uh, know. Nah. <laughs> a lot of night things just roll off the tongue. I don't know. Night hog, night tail. Like nightingale. Or whatever night scale. I know. <laughs> it's 
right there. No Night Tail Night Tail comes into the room and says, uh, "Is just like shocked to see the disrespect um, that Crumb is is doing to um, to this ancient man, and uh, is just appalled, like hand over her mouth." Watching Crumb just ragdoll this this old man's corpse, uh, um, and and and, and 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 Nighttail looks at Albert and just says, "What? What did you say, Albert? Do you repeat it? Uh, whatever you did say, she's too uh, shocked and dismayed uh, to, to have taken it in." Okay. Um. Yeah, I snap my fingers, I repeat myself. <laughs> you snap your fingers at her? Hey, let's go. You know this one? <laughs> your spot. Um, she tries to get it together. She says, uh, this is... Uh, this was... Uh, Jackal. Uh... Uh... She spells it for you in chat. Um, he was the tribe's priest. Um, but a new priest has come. Does she cool, actually cool. look shocked after we after we've just slaughtered a bunch of kobolds right now? Does she look uh, no, upset? No, 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 no. The kobold fighters that she took part in that fight, she's not shocked about that. But you coming in to this old man sleeping on his deathbed and shaking him around, throwing his corpse on the ground, that's what shocked her. You gonna say, uh, oh, uh, friend of yours or something, was he not bad? He, um, he was bad. He was not a friend of mine. Still shocking to see. Well, saddle up, little lady. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm just kidding. I don't say that. <laughs> I could be a bit gruff at some times. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Crumb is supposed to be a skull thief, honestly. Supposed to be who? <laughs> In skull leaf, not here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... Anyway, uh, yeah. So, so this um, small box with a leather strap. What does it smell like, right? It smells like uh, like an old kobold. I'm gonna turn around tonight. And the other kobold. Uh, I kneel down. What was this around his neck? Something to do with his religion, I presume. And that was his his religion. Um, he worshipped. Mm, Let's let's give let's give her a knowledge roll. Does she know this? Um, let's throw D twenty at it. Um, some evil religion, she says. Okay. Um, give me uh, anybody can give me a religion knowledge check. To determine what this small box with a leather strap is. At the mention of it being evil, I mean, Crumb's gonna drop it to the ground. Kind of sure. scruff his nose. He, yeah, Crumb throws down the box with a strap on it to the ground, just like he threw down the corpse of the man. <laughs> he released him from his grasp. There was no throwing, sir. Oh, you literally said he threw his corpse to the ground. Um, I'm pretty sure you tossed him down the hallway and just yeeted him <laughs> down there. Literally said I let him go with my other hand. 
Um, let's see here. Father Matthias Ooh. has. Oh, why are you untrained in religion? Wait, that, I'm looking at Anthony. I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was Matthias. You, you, still, <laughs> you still need to be. You still need a, a rank in it to roll uh, it. Um, place everybody. <laughs> I, saw, I thought Sorry. it was Matthias. I, may, I may have. Um, yeah, and Jerry, do you have any ranks in knowledge, really? Single rank, yeah, yes. I would say. You, you do have a rank in it? I do have a rank in it, yes. Okay, okay. Um, well, then I'll just go ahead and tell you this is a phylactery of faithfulness. <laughs> This item is a tiny box containing a religious scripture. The box is affixed to a leather cord and tied around the forehead, worn so the box sits upon the wearer's brow. Uh, there's no mundane way to determine what function this religious item performs until it's worn. Uh... <laughs> Aware of the phylactery of faithfulness is aware of any action or item that could af adversely affect his alignment and his standing with his deity, including magical effects. He acquires information prior to performing such an action or becoming associated with such an item if he takes a moment to contemplate the act. For instance, throwing down the corpse of a freshly deceased cleric. <laughs> Does it right there? It's what a coincidence. Oh, right it, it doesn't say that Gorham cares about this. I was I was about to say, do we need to go over Cor Gorham's okay. beliefs? Because once you're dead, you're a pile of meat. There's nothing yeah. really about like. There's no if, dying, especially dying as an old man, is not something yeah. to be yeah, as, as long as you're alive, there is some honor that he demands. Like fighting, you can't backstab him people but like the monitor that he doesn't give a shit well as long as we just forget what his final words were i'll be happy with that <laughs> it's recorded so ha ah. oh, you got me there What now, guys? Uh, go Crumbs, uh, as soon as it, it, he drops it, at the mention of it being evil, he uh, has lost complete interest. Uh, this guy, w even she said he was evil, I guess, but still apparently uh -huh. worshipped evil. He's he, he has no interest. Done with him. Uh -huh. He's dead. He's not a threat. Time to move on. Ooh. He looks back at Father Matthias, though. Wait. Yeah, you're right there, Matthias, father. No, uh, well, I, I guess I am. I, I'm just not used to this kind of of activity. It's just, it's just a little too brutal for me. I, I can see defending ourselves against being attacked, but he was dead. And he really had no. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just. A little taken aback. I, I'll be okay. He looks at you. Can want to come in and give Crumb a hard time too? He looks at you confused, <laughs> and he he looks at you like really no. confused about what you're talking about. And he says, "No." He, he, he points at like your injuries. <laughs> oh, that. <sighs> well, you know, it's it's one of those things. Uh, we can shoot off another. Um, why is it my mind does that? I'm old. That's what it is. It looks like you're the only one who's hurt. General positive. Um, oh, no, there's me and Ulrich are a little <laughs> dinged. That's about it. Yeah. Did anyone pick up the phylactery? So I'll take it. I won't pick it up. I, I dropped it. I don't know if it was touched after that. Yeah, it is a magical item. Okay, I'm gonna um, shoot off another. Cross the for five. Okay, oh. sorry. That's actually perfect. And everybody in here should be uh, gaining the benefit of that. Oops. 
sweet. And back. Oh. Is like a rebate program I can issue if I don't need it? <laughs> uh, no. Sorry. I can injure you first, though, if you'd like. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. Okay. All right, everybody uh, ready? This kobold outside next to Albert uh, regains life. No, no, we threw him. He threw him in there. The snapping. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> want to make sure before I cast any kind of channeling or anything, <laughs> we're eaten by the turtles. All right. Nudge no, still reaches them because they're still partially alive, being eaten. They just come back, and another fucking chunk gets ripped out of them. So they wake up enough to die again. Got it. Lead on the side. I'm a crumb. Crumb. I'm not. <laughs> Never mind. Huh. Yeah, he looks so, back at. Uh, fuck, I can't see her. Um, Nightail. Uh, night. Oh, uh, that's not my torch. I'm just torch hanging out there. Nightail. Do we continue on this way or the other paths that were in the other room before with the turtles? I'm unfamiliar with this with this uh, part of the tunnels. I, I, I've, not, I've not been here. You can turn back at you guys and say there was another passageway I passed by. Maybe we should go down there first. We already know uh, he looks at Alric Another kobold ran down this hallway, probably another damn trap. Might as well have a moment of respite before we face it. I would have to agree that the kobolds seem to have a tendency to run deeper into their lair. I'm excited for their trap and to smash anything we find, but let's make sure we don't leave any behind us. Only cowards fight in the back. Jesus. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to the left. Well, there's a. It looks like there's a way to the right too, huh? Yeah. Clearly, we should split up. <laughs> Clearly, to to the right, um, to the east is a door. To the left, to the west is a tunnel. Um, I'm gonna go up to the door and listen. If I hear anything, maybe giggling, sinister giggling. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you go up, you listen. That's a perception roll. You got it. I'll give that a shot myself as well. Oh, we're all gonna put our, we're all gonna cram in there. Um, Matthias just hears crumb breathing in his face. <laughs> I'm a bit of a mouth breather. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard with tusks, you know? Um, but crumb does his best and he can't hear anything other than the sound of Matthias uh, choking down orc breath. He's going to try the door. You're going to try to open the door. Yep. Um, it appears to be locked. I'm going to smash it down. Okay, go ahead. Give me an attack roll. Do you... Are you going to use a strength check on that? Or do you, do you want some help? Or... Like, without hesitation, just immediately listens. Nope, nothing there. Checks the door. Nope, locked. Axe. Yeah. You, you, axe. You, okay. you break down, like, half of the door. How about that other half? Uh, sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, doors. The the downfall of every good adventurer. Um, all right. So we'll just remove that piece of dynamic lighting, and you are welcome 
I am plagued by torches right now. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, yeah, everybody's throwing torches at you. All right. So this room, uh, there are a large number of weapons that have been stashed in neat, orderly stacks and piles in this very dry cave. <laughs> you just hear a uh, crumb going to the darkness. And there's like a pause. And then you just hear him say, oh, boy. And the clanging of metal. Okay, Fias calls out. What what is it? What is this, GM, exactly? Well, you guys take the time to look through all of this. Is that correct? Crom definitely does. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, I will go ahead and copy and paste this into the Roll20 chat. Um, Just because it's here doesn't mean you take it. I'm just telling you what's there. So, we've got a bunch of small weapons and armor, including 12 small spears, 120 sling bullets, four slings, three suits of leather armor, three wooden shields, two bows, and a masterwork, medium-sized, cold iron longsword. Ooh. I mean, crook. I'm the one using a long sword the most. Albert looks sick. Finally a weapon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, Albert and Crumb know about it. Alright, alright. Looks like we're gonna have to arm wrestle again. <laughs> <laughs> alright. For some reason, Ulrich comes into the room. Well, I'd say, I'd say that to him. I'm, I'm sure Ulrich knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like us to perform this arm wrestling, Jim? Oh, you well, see, here's the thing. You guys can do it however you want to do it. This is a little mini game that you are creating for yourself. So you can just roll d20s off each in, against each other. You can do strength checks against each other. You can do whatever you want to do. Strength checks sound about right. Two out of three strength check, checks. Uh, best out of three. All right. Where's my strength? Here's mine. Shit! Oh, you did poorly too. Uh, all right. Yeah. That's one for you. (laughs) Shit! Shit! The priest and the wizard stand back as they watch these two guys arm wrestle in the air. Best two out of three. And good thing goes to Ulrich. Ulrich's got two right off the bat. Oh, damn it. Just like back at the tavern. All right. I'll get you one of these days. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, I'll grab that uh, cold iron longsword and my old normal longsword. I'll hand up to Albert, who said finally a weapon. So I'll hand <laughs> that off to him. Thank you. Thank you. Does it fall out of your hand immediately? Yeah, you hand it to me, I bumble it. <laughs> Look! Ooh. Swing it! Attaching the leather loop to my belt. Um... I don't want the rest of this shit. Astro. <laughs> Alright, time to... We could sell the rest of it off um, later. Finally made kobold weapons and armor. Come get it. <laughs> yeah, we we can even find some tourists in the town and sell that off as trinket. I, like, I don't know who would really buy any of this. They're all small size. Attach your keys to one of them and use it to carry it around with you. Or we could sell yeah. to that one dickhead blacksmith, convince him to buy it all. And then go to the local constable and tell them that he's. But we found out he has a bunch of kobold weapons, and he's probably working with them, and have him execute. Devious. You know, it's not such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing, Dan, when I when I pick up the sword, I like examine it. Is there any special markings on it that could tell me? Uh, any uh, if you uh, like, I can appraise it for you. I think that's what that means. 
uh, there's a scroll that's wrapped around the the sheath but as you touch it it disintegrates and all the knowledge of long ago is lost it's fucked up man (laughs) just because a snapping turtle tries to bite (laughs) father Matthias wait Achilles tendon rupture (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's going to be called the Mati- Matthias Tendon Edition. <laughs> Could be. All right. Um, well, uh, I didn't see it around the corner. Is this a dead end? Yes. All right. Well. All right. So all that other stuff remains there. You don't bundle it up to take with you. It's up to you guys. I have no interest in it, personally. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, I have no interest. I don't even think we could sell it. Oh, yeah, I mean, what what quality was it, GM? I mean... Uh, not masterwork, unless otherwise noted. So fair? Uh, normal. I mean, made by... <sighs> dare I say savages? They're, I mean, look at look at Nighttail. I mean, Nighttail might hear you. She's yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, disgrace. I see her. thumbs there, but I mean, she's she's a cutie, but still. she has a piercing, which means they're cool, which means that they are sophisticated. She probably drinks coffee on the reg. <laughs> Cappuccino, maybe even. Which is a sign of. High society. Okay. Yeah, cowboys did it. Hello. What do you guys do? So the other way is like a long corridor. It's like, um. Brum's dark vision peers off into the hallway. All right. Simply because of the fact that that kobold didn't go this way makes me feel like. We maybe want to go this way, or it's trapped, like that pitfall before. Trap's been pretty pathetic so far. I just keep walking right into him. Now I tell you, are pretty uh, keen on finding these traps, or I don't know. You think you could sniff it out? Man, we need a fucking rogue, you guys. I can't just uh, no, keep tanking no, all these I'm, traps. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Uh, I, I am Nighttail, and I am not a rogue. I only knew about that first trap. I did not necessarily sniff it out, as you say. So, uh, the name Nighttail just not at all related to. It, well, it's actually why your parents named you, not like a nickname from your skills or anything. That's very personal and actually offensive for you to ask me that. Um, <laughs> oh. I yeah. ask again the louder. Hell, what the hell is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, my my surname is Volkerson, not Stormbringer. That's an epithet I was granted after some of my achievements. So I, you know, I figured Nighttail makes sense. For- you telling me about your name is even more offensive now. <laughs> I, I didn't want to know that. I invoked the right of didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, all right, well, this is Anyways. getting awkward. Uh, <laughs> Starts I'm shoot. rethinking this whole partnership. <laughs> um, I think I hear hack calling. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, uh, there's a trap. Traps be damned, right? Let's go. Hello there. You lead. Onward and upward. It appears I have been stuck to a wall. Raising Rune Lords. That's a, f- that's a dope name. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Nighttail's insult just blasted me into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been all clicking everywhere. It's working out better. PBKY, thanks for the follow. I know who that is. PBKY, that's Kyle. Kyle. What's up, Kyle. Ow. Kyle. Ow. Yeah. Is it the Kyle I know, or is it a different Kyle? Uh-oh. If there's another PBKY, we don't want to know him. <laughs> Trump sees feet and stops in his tracks. Oh, yeah. You see that kobold 
uh, almost like they were waiting for you, and um, they 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 dip to the north. Ugh. I'm gonna uh, fuck this. I'm chasing them. Okay, let's all stop what we're doing. Okay. Roll for initiative. Tired of these shenanigans. What happened? Yes. Well, um, I don't know that anything's happened, but... So, 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 okay, so wait. We rolled initiative because Crumb said, fuck it, I'm going after this guy. And... Would I get a free action to say anything? Sure, yes. Um... Another runner, not this time, god damn it. And you usually hear chainmail start going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, and so we'll 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 say that that's a surprise round and Crumb gets to uh, move with that. Um or or you get one action in a surprise turn. Um, oh, okay. And just crow, because he's initiating all of this. And then we'll go right into to turn order. Okay. Um, then yeah, I'll I'll move, run. Move action for crow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that is my move. Okay. And your free action was I'm going for it, <laughs> letting your team. All right, Albert. What are you doing? Uh. Well, I just saw our work take off in a sprint. Yeah, he did say something though. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to attempt to follow him. Let's see. My speed, I guess. Let's see what I see. Well, I see his butt. Uh, I'm just going to take my move again. How does it look? Just uh, right here. And I think I mean I can technically see this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I'll just I don't know, it's kinda of fishy. I'll just uh, remain here. I pass to whoever's next. Okay, uh what I've done here is I've made Matthias's and Albert's torches uh, controlled just by them but also by Crumb and the torches also provide vision. That's clever. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks good. And we'll have to be careful to, you know, metagame around that. <laughs> um, you know me, I'll, I'll kill myself at the cost of not metagaming. <laughs> Just for funsies. <clears throat> okay. So Nico, how you doing there? Uh I'm I'm back, but I'm probably gonna delay anyways because I'm in the back, so I'd rather well, watch our I, behind. I put Albert in front of you and and uh you you still wanna continue to delay. Okay. That's fine. Um Uh, Matthias Father Matthias uh, <clears throat> Father Matthias um, has saw uh, Albert take off after hearing the you know after hearing Crumb say something about seeing somebody and so he decides that he's going to cautiously move down um Move, move down the area and see what he can see. So he's going just a little bit at a time. Uh, he's going to come right up behind Albert and uh, and, and hold and and say, "What? What's what's happening up there? I I I, I can't see around the corner. What what do you see, Albert?" that's it. All right. Are you back, Nico? 
Yeah. I just showed up the link. I'm supposed to watch the back, so I'm not just going to rush past Matthias and be like, yep, if something comes from behind, you deal with it, because we saw one run a different corridor, so like he could swing back around. All right, Nighttail will move up, um, staying with the party. Ulrich. Yeah, now that Matthias has moved, I'm going to also... Get my uh, up there. Uh, okay. Oh, that wasn't blocked, but hey, that's. Let me measure it so I'm not being a little cheaty, cheat, cheat. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know, I'm just gonna rush behind Matthias and shout to him, what's going on? Um, looking at my roll 20 versus the stream, it looks like I need to refresh my roll 20. Good uh, bummer. I think roll 20, roll, roll 20 is having some issues this evening. They're probably getting flooded with stuff from all the, uh, Wizards Over the Coast action going on. What even is going on with them? It, they're Where? Doing, it, 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 it would take a while. They're they're trying to lock down basically everything that is Dungeons and Dragons and keep it for themselves and fucking over third party content. In a nutshell, in a drunken, poorly explained nutshell. They're trying to be greedy. They're being stupid again. Um, again. <laughs> so. Um, all right, so yeah, Nighttail got lost in the roll 20, but I was moving her, but I don't know, maybe she wasn't showing up for you guys. Um, okay, so you you should see her now, yeah. Um, all right, so Ulrich moved or or what? Yeah, I moved and shouted to Matthias what's going on over there. Okay. All right, Crumb. Um, Crumb. I I don't want to run logically, but I think it is what Crumb would do. Just to make sure I can close the ground. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait. R- running is, is not really an option. Running is like an open field, nothing in your way. Uh, you can't run in here oh. because of the angles and whatnot. Um, you, 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 you can double move, but, um, why don't you move once before you decide to move twice? You know what? Okay. He convinced me. All right. Uh, well, I'm, it looks like he, I can't hardly see the kobold, but it looks like it's in a threatened square now. Yeah, well, it's moving along. Um, That's my cute face. <laughs> whoops, I meant to see. I meant to click something. I meant to see what you can see. All right, so... Yeah, it's it's moving along here. Um, and as you come in to this room, let me describe it only for Crumb. Lay it on no me, boss. Else. Nobody no else. Can listen to this. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Um, the ceiling of this chamber rises to a lofty 12 feet. You're no longer squeezing. However, the cave floor drops away into a pair of long 10 foot pits on either side. Uh, between them is a ridge of stone which forms a dubious walkway to a landing on the opposite side. I think oh. I don't remember how this works. I'm gonna just roll power attack. No, that's not how it works. I don't know how. It's a condition, isn't it? I, I yeah, I see it. I see. I see it. It, it, it should be a buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I see it. I got it. I got it. You got it. Thirteen for an eight. Ooh, so close. 
I got him. <laughs> yeah, it is dark, and they can't see, so might as well lie to them. Um, all right. Albert, give me a perception check. Four. I'm not trained in perception. Uh, you can do it untrained. I'm hitting the button, nothing's happening. Which is fortunate. It's for Fred. I'm sure three out perception checks will pop up soon enough. Um, <laughs> I clicked it way more than three times. <laughs> so, oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Alright, All right, well, I don't know what is up with your computer. Um, sounds like it sucks. But uh, what is Albert going to do? Uh, you want the perception? I did want a perception. I still do. There you go. Wow. You're getting crumb level of perception rolls here. <laughs> I rolled negative all night. <laughs> uh, not a great night. Wow. Well, what does Albert do? Um, he's. I heard. Crumb actually hit him, though, right? <laughs> No. Oh, you my. don't know anything. Okay. Just well, yelled, I caught up from... to him. Or I caught him, is what I, I said, I think. <laughs> so I see him. And probably not going to work. But I'm going to attempt to grease him. Let's get greasy. Attempt for him not to run today. DC of 16, probably okay. the save you gotta dodge, whatever the reflex. I... It's a good call. Uh, you could fall into the pit. That'd be glorious. Save C okay. text. Let me just roll a quick D20. Uh, see what yeah, we're at. All right, that's that's a nine right in the middle. Um, yeah, so you fail the reflex. Oh, let's see if I fail the reflex. Let me just check. My reflex bonus. I, I'm, a, I got, I'm a quick little guy, you know? Got 18 agility over here. <laughs> you know, maybe. Um, my reflex. You know? Okay, my reflex isn't so good. So. I'm going to fail that. Do you want me to read your spell? Uh, yeah. You do want me to read your spell. Okay. A grease spell covers a solid surface with a layer of slippery grease. Any creature that's in the area of the spell must make a successful reflex save. Creature can walk within the area of the grease. Uh, okay, so... Oh, must make the re successful reflex save or fall. So he falls. Um, and... This chamber has some unique functions here. Instantly washes away all grease. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so he goes prone. <laughs> And uh, I'll already yell, got him, got him, guys. Got him, dude. As to the reason I'm lying. All right. Okay, nice one, Albert. Um, you mean follow the thoughts? No, I mean, nice one, Albert. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've, I'm, I, uh, Father Matthias deserved no compliments as of yet. I heard right. next, Albert, or yeah. I heard next Albert. <laughs> uh, well, I, I intended to say nice one, Albert. And now, next, Father Matthias. Well played. Alright, as I move up into this area, I uh, can't see too much of anything, so I figured... Albert, uh, let me let me sneak by you here. I, I, I can't see any. I can't see anything. I also can't move because I'm stuck in a freaking wall. 
Five is going to try to go past Albert. There. Nope. Yeah. Right. There. It's fine. Well, you're, you're still squeezing, uh, by the way. Everybody's yep. still s squeezing yep. until you enter this room fully. Yep. I have not um, entered the room. Still can't see anything, although. Is this the prone? Yes. Okay. Uh, I draw my. Or I, I make sure I have out my crossbow and I go. And then I am done. Nighttail yells out Dire Rats. Ulrich perhaps sees a Dire Rat come running around the corner. Perhaps not. Um, maybe I'll see the other ones. <laughs> and these medium-sized beefy, crazy-looking rats come from the other side uh, farther east. Uh, one of them takes a bite at Albert. One of them takes a bite at Nighttail. One of them lines up to take a bite at Nighttail, but had to double move over to get her. But <clears throat> the one that goes after Albert had just enough movement. <laughs> so, let's throw a d20 plus two. Dire rat bite. Oh, six is not gonna do it, even on good old Albert. Nope. So, let's just um, add them rats to the turn order, right? Uh, they are right after, wait a minute. They're right after, Matthias. Yeah. So, was that a long sword masterwork, Ulrich, that you gave me? Uh, the one I gave you, no. It was just a long sword. The one he took for himself was masterwork. Yeah. <laughs> Bad deal. Um, all right, night tail attacks. D20 plus eight, baby. She does have a masterwork spear. It's small sized, but here it is. Actually, I'll type in her name. Nighttail Spear. Oh, tw look at that. She is gonna murder this rat. Um, She is a named character. Uh, Spears crit times three, but you gotta roll a 20. So here's a D6 plus one. We'll call this uh, NT spear damage. Um, all right, four damage on this rat. And Ulrich. I see a guy in the back. Of fighting it. Uh, I'm gonna walk up here and I'll draw my throwing axe because I can't get past her with those two things there. So instead, I will throw an axe at the one in the back there. Cool. Because as far as I can see, might be wrong. He's not engaged with anyone. You got it. <laughs> Ooh, 11 is not enough. Um, uh, this filthy rat is the size of a small dog. Uh, I should make these small size instead of medium the way they look. Um, it has coarse coat of fur, long scabby tail, glittering eyes. And Ooh, glitter. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, Crumb's going to slam his battle axe into the ground and slide this poor kobold into the ten-foot pit with grapple. 
I'm sorry. What what are you gonna? What's what's the role here? Uh, I'm I'm gonna grapple the col- the prone kobold. Basically, uh, he slams his battle axe into the ground, trying to like get it to stick. It, maybe it happens. Maybe he does it. This and with his new free hand, he literally just shoves him. Like he takes his face and just tries to shove him into the pit. All right, I think what you're wanting to do is not lose your battle axe. Um, <clears throat> you could sheath your battle axe as a move action. Uh, it does not threaten since this guy's prone. And then as a standard, you could um, attempt a combat maneuver such as grapple, such as bull rush. Um, is that is that more like what you want to do? Yeah. Uh, uh, would I lose my battle axe slamming in ground? I feel like that's more crumb slamming it well, into the ground. <laughs> okay, so, so here's the thing, though. You slam it into the ground, then you got to spend a move action to pick it up again. If you have it sheathed, then that's pretty much a free action if you're moving. Because uh, my, BAB, my BAB is high enough to sheath yeah. it. Uh, okay. okay uh. I'm, just, I'm just trying to tell you you what i think crumb would do but you it's your he's your guy so you, no you no you, i i'm not familiar with the, the first edition mechanics so i appreciate it and i'll do that i i can't i don't think i can bull rush though because he's fight he's too close right right uh but um yeah i'll push him as a grapple into the pit fuck mm, well his his we cmd is better than that. So he's got a grip on the ground. Um, but the ground's greasy. Where Where is this grease? Is Crumb in the grease? Um, no. I, ten foot square. Or okay. target, I think. And I targeted it. Yeah, um, well, it. One object. Can you, can, you, can you draw that grease for us in detail? <laughs> no. <laughs> just, I need just shading and all. Is. Just tell us where it is in the squares. Which squares are greasy is what we want to know. Uh, uh, would have been just okay. The... So, so actually, because he's uh, prone, that CMB roll will be successful. We'll shove him off uh, into the into the into the 10 foot pit. Nope. And probably give him some damage. Um, All right, a good amount of damage. And anything else from Crumb? Okay, is the grease visible? Like, yeah. Actually, no, I don't think it is, but. It's not visible grease. Well, uh, you you read your own spell. Tell us. Tell well, us. I guess my question is: Is the ground all greased up, or was he greased up? Yeah, the ground is greased up. Sure. Okay, don't want to go that way then. You can do acrobatic. Don't want to go that way then. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, that's it for me. All right, yeah, that's that's Crumb's turn, Albert. Hey. Um. You know if I can see. Now that he's been moved. So. Oh. You think I can ask him, flash him, Ryan, or no? No, he's down a 10 foot. Yeah. Pit. He's thought... off the ledge. He's no longer. Oh, I got, I got rats behind. Me, so. Yeah, you got a rat right behind you. I'm going to try to stab the rat with my long sword. Draw my long sword. And I will take the stab him. All right. Drawing a weapon does not provoke an attack of opportunity. Um, all right. You are a named character. You've rolled a natural one. You can roll that attack again to I confirm rolled... your fumble. Oh, so many. Uh, if that so breaks instantly. That is a six does not hit your enemy's AC. So that is the definition of a confirmed fumble. Uh, melee. Yes. I told you it was sharp. You take 1d6 points of bleed damage. Ooh. 
<laughs> so Albert tries to pull the sword out and be cool with it, but he winds up like slashing a part of his own body with his sword so deep that it's a continuous wound. That's what bleed damage means. That means that he continues to take... Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll a d6, Anthony. So he's going to take one point of damage every round from now until he dies. Nope. That's bleed damage. Terrified. <laughs> uh, it's on record. You guys chose this. You wanted it. I love these cards. I love <laughs> using them. I love it. Yeah. Well, I'm not moving. <laughs> help me out, Ork. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I yelled to the fucking hallway. Can't you? Uh, can you not dispel any of your spells at will? Yeah, I can dispel it. No, I just choose to spell the group. He chooses not to for <laughs> fun of it. Um, is that it for you, Albert? Yeah. Oh, okay. How do I erase Greece? Um, well, if, if you look at your spell, and in the duration of your spell, there's a D in parentheses, that means that you can dispel it at will, I believe. Yeah. So... It has a so are you asking in roll 20 how do you dispel the little blue line that you drew yeah I have no idea you, you just <laughs> highlight it and press delete uh. <laughs> oh here's my fumble deck spreadsheet alright so now that I have this open as well as the hits um, critical yep. hits and critical fumbles so now what we're going to do uh, you guys are going to be able to that's Albert. We'll go to Matthias. So, Father Matthias watches Albert essentially attack himself and, uh, and, and bleed and everything. So he's going... Um, so he's going to attempt a heal check. So if he makes it 15 or better with a heal check, that will be provided first aid and will stop his bleed. I'm sorry, no, not in mid-combat. Heal checks are generally for outside combat. Uh, it's not a it's... feat for a combat medic to allow you to do it in combat. Oh, um... <clears throat> fine. I will... Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that this is a six-second action that you're doing. <laughs> Spit on it, put tape on it. Do you have an ice pack? <laughs> okay, forget it. I I loaded my. Right. Uh, that's fine. Oh. I loaded my uh, crossbow, so I will shoot at this little beastie here. And I can't see if if it's in. You can't see the thing you're shooting at. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I can't see if there's something next to it that's in I can't see here I don't know if there's something next to it or not okay so I I, I don't know if I should subtract four or not so I'll tell you what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the attack and you tell me whether it is that's do sounds that. good sounds good crossbow 18 against uh, versus AC for five damage, if that hits. All right, solid. I'll take the damage. Okay, and as he, since he did that and he did not move, he will reload his crossbow. Okay. <clears throat> the rats will attack once again. Um, one of them, the, uh, the one next to Albert is gonna try to, uh, get past him. Um, so, this is the rats. Uh, 
the rats are flanking are trying to? Well, no, it's it's just there. I I have three rats. Only two of them can attack um, because of the way they're positioned. But if one of them gets past Albert to attack Matthias, then another one can attack Albert, and then a third one can attack Nighttail. That way, all three of them can attack. So, oh, yeah. Matthias, you better take that cheese out of your pocket, man. <laughs> uh, so. This is this is basically a um, unskilled acrobatics roll versus Albert's CMD. Um, so this uh, is a in order to get the, nine. okay. So this is to get past Albert um, because it's moving through his square. It's a it's a plus five, I believe. So I'm trying to roll a. Um, I'm trying to roll a fourteen, and I've got a plus three. Um, this is my this is my rat acrobatics versus a wizard's combat defense uh, combat maneuver defense. Uh, here here we go. Doesn't happen. <laughs> So therefore, I only get two rat attacks, and one of them's still going to go against Albert. Here it is. Uh, this rat's mad because you blocked him. 19 to hit. Oh, uh, that hits. Uh, so, and while, while I'm at it here, let's do a, a do a bite against Nighttail. Uh, nine does not hit. So... Albert does get an attack of opportunity prior to the attack because he failed. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Albert, give me an attack on this rat that tried to get by you. He just wants to see me roll it, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, your Bye. friends are your friends are mean. Um, <laughs> so, here's... here's uh, a D four plus one. This is the rat bite damage. So three damage, and then if you would be so kind as to roll me a fortitude save. You are suspicious that something bad is going to happen as a result of this bite. Please make a note. Good indeed. Okay, and then <laughs> it is Nighttail's turn. She attacks this rat with her spear. 14 to hit. Uh, 14 hits. Uh, Night. Tail spear damage, five damage on this rat. Um, looks like it is very near death. Uh, we'll, we'll even we'll go so far as to call it bloody. And then Night Tail, displaying um, tactical awareness, five foot steps back. All right. It's your turn. Uh, after that, I'll step up, steps back, so I'll just smile at her and nod my head, and then uh, I'll move up to attack. Uh, he smiles back. back. <laughs> and I tell, because she has a cobalt. <laughs> Their teeth she are wink, She them. winks and kind of gives you like a little head nod. Yeah, I'll uh, move up, draw <laughs> my sword. <laughs> it just uh, got a little sexy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, we, we got we got Nico. He's, he's he's I think he's blushing. His lights are so red, it's hard to tell. Yeah, uh, move up, draw my long sword, and while moving, and attack this bloodied one. Hell yeah! Yeah, you can describe how you kill that uh, poor pet. Uh, some somebody's gonna be sad tomorrow morning. I. Uh... I just after drawing my sword, I flip it around in my hand and just plunge it down while taking a knee. 
going straight through its back. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I didn't move my full move amount, so can I still move up that one there? No, no, you moved and then you attacked. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's uh, look, look, in, look into spring attack if you want to move, attack, and then move again. <clears throat> All right, crumb. Um, can you hold uh, in a, a standard action? Um, tell me more. Well, I w I'm going to move here. And I wanted to hold an attack in case one of the rats come in my uh, threatened square. Okay, so you can move and then ready an action. Okay. Um, and, and, you, and, and when you ready an action, you have to... Uh, State what will trigger what what your action is and what will trigger that action. As as soon as a rat is in my threatened square, I'm going to attack it. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, and that will um, I suppose that that'll move you in uh, down into the turn order um, into the next turn. Uh, Albert, what are you going to do? Let's see here. Um, Scar, what is total defense to? Probably just going to do that. Plus four. Forget. You can take a that's five like, foot step, but you, you you that's a full round. Yeah, like I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna hunker down and go total defense. Okay. I can't go. I can't. I can't even disengage because I guess that wouldn't be a threatened square because he's ten foot down. Or is he dead? I don't even know. Why couldn't you? Di why why couldn't you disengage? Well, you can't go. Well, if he was alive, I thought it might be an. Well, you can't go through a threatened square or disengage if you're leaving. It's kind of weird. You can withdraw, yeah. can't you, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. withdraw. I always I'm say. Just not sure who who you're talking about, Anthony. Um, it was this cobalt. I can't. I don't know who this one is. Okay, that uh, the, the one who fell in the yeah. ten foot pit. Yeah. Yeah. What about him? Is he alive? Yeah, but uh, he's ten feet down, and he's yeah. So this isn't an AI at all. Correct. Okay, then I'm going to withdraw to there. Okay, so <clears throat> rules for withdraw means that the first five feet do not provoke attacks of opportunity. The following <clears throat> squares would provoke if they were yeah. threatened. Yeah. Yeah. So that was. I thought it was threatened, but if he's down, then he's. I guess I'll move there. Even if he okay. wasn't, if he, even if he was there, uh, that wouldn't provoke an AI because you're, that's the first yeah. threatened square you'd be moving it. Yeah. But then I can't see the. Right. Moving uh, into threatened squares does not provoke. It's moving out of them and then doing stuff in them that may provoke. Okay. So Albert moves just a little bit. Yeah. Anything I else? Take one damage from bleed, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for remembering that. Let's uh, let's put a little, a little, a little edge on you here. What shall it be? Um, I'll let you choose. I'm gonna actually, uh, how are we doing on time, everybody? Uh, this would probably be a one. Would probably be me. So I'd have to go. I'm sorry. What? So how much more time do we have? 15 or so minutes. Oh, that's the wrong scene. There we go. He did that on purpose. <laughs> no. Yes, he did. Look, he <laughs> left. He's gone. Right. right. He's gone. Deadlands time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's hiding from us. Uh, I'm at the main screen. Yes, we are. Okay, I didn't know. Yes, you, I popped you all over there because of my uh, lack of trust. Oh. Um, so, we're back, and... 
Yeah, Albert moved a little bit, and that's that's all he wants to do. Or do you want to? What, you want to do well, something I, else? I withdrawed, so I can't do okay. anything else. All right. Um. So, uh, Crum has a ready to action. Father Matthias, what do you do? I am going to fire my crossbow at this bottom uh, dire rat. Right there. Ah. Another bolt. Another bolt bites the dust. Okay. Anything else? He curses under his breath in a language no one understands. What language is that? The one no one understands. No, really? Well, what? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, uh, just it's a flavor language. It's like I learned it from. I learned what a curse word from somebody in another language. Okay. Okay. Um. So, crumb. I think. I think you still have to wait for them to move. Um. In order for you to. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so this this uh, this rat moves up to Crumb and Crumb's like a major league batter up to bat. Go for it. Give me that attack. Point two for eight. All right. Uh, definitely hits. Take that eight damage, and I will try to bite you as I'm still just barely alive. Um, here's a bite attack. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? It's because I love you so much. Uh, let's conf- let's confirm this. Uh, it's not gonna go to the cards, but it could still do double damage. 12 does not confirm. Jeez. Let's do the bite damage. Two points of damage, and then a fortitude save, please. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, sorry. Let's click uh, fortitude, you say. There you go. A 12. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. <sighs> so. That sounded um, kind of sexy. I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to know what happens now. All right. So Crumb readied his action to attack when they moved into its square. That happened. Um, this one here down south here with Ulrich is going to uh, scurry atop the corpse of... It's a uh, litter mate. I don't know, and and attempt to bite him. Here's a rat bite attack on Ulrich. Natural one. <clears throat> well, you're only ruining that twenties when it comes to Sean. <laughs> uh, that's the ma- that's the macro that I have written. So, um. It is Ulrich's turn. Well, uh, well, uh, power attack this rat that just came up to me and tried to buy me. Okay. All right. And, um, yeah, that's it. A... Okay. Well, coming into round five, Albert takes another point of bleed damage. Indeed he does. Self-inflicted wound from a longsword given to him by Ulrich. It's clearly hexed. Um, sure, Ulrich had no intention of it going down like that, but he would be to blame, ultimately. Um, so, Albert, what do you do? Going to splash the cobalt in the hole. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that position before. 
Very keen. And I'm no longer, um, am I still, uh, squeezed? In this chamber, as soon as you move into the chamber, um, you're still squeezed where you are. But when you move into this chamber, it will open up uh, 12-foot ceilings. Understood. Oh, I splash it. Yeah. Um, uh, the angle, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, well, you know, he is... He is prone down there. Yeah. I suppose he could have stood up by now. Let's take that prone badge off of him um, and give it to you. So, he takes that damage. Anything else? Uh, no. All right, just standing there bleeding. Okay, all cozy in the corner. Father Matthias. Mm. Okay. Um... Loads his crossbow, shoots at this one that's right here, and I believe that's going to be a minus four. But I'll let you Ooh. subtract that out. Of yeah, that's not going to do it. Sorry. You're, you're in very cramped quarters. You're trying to get an angle around Crumb. That's uh, tough. He's over five foot away from me. Crumb doesn't take up the whole five feet, does he? You, you, you rolled shitty, so I was just trying to give you some flavor to make you feel better. Um, okay. What? Well, I didn't roll anything, but okay. Oh. Sorry, I was looking at Albert's roll. Go for it. Give me a roll, bud. Roll wasn't shitty? No. Okay. Sorry. Now I rolled shit. Okay. Um, the rats. They tend to bite. Here's one for Crumb. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Jerry, did you want to do something more? Do you want to... Uh, whisper to Albert, dispel your... your dispel your grease. You already did. Did. <laughs> okay, oh. here's a rat bite for Crumb. Here's a rat bite for Ulrich. Alright, and then it's Crumb's turn. Swing batter. Get him! 23. Hell yeah. Um, you may describe your dire rat kill, sir. Uh, Crum uh, slams it into his spine and it gets stuck in there and the rat kind of gets stuck in it and he has to put his foot on the rat's head, lifeless head and yank the battle axe out to, uh, to free it so it could continue. And yeah. uh, as he yanks it out, a bunch of gross, probably putrid... <laughs> Uh, diseased blood splatters everywhere. Uh, specifically, does it splatter on any of your friends? Uh, mostly in, in Crumb's mouth. Mo all, and eyes, and nose, and ears. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> uh, Ulrich, it is your turn. Yeah, uh, I mean... Uh, I could try to grapple this rat and instead have Night Tail attack it while I'm holding it, but that's too strategic. Fuck it. Hit big rat with sharp stick. Dominate the rat. Make it your own. And um, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> And you are free to describe that kill if you like. Jesus. Nice. Similar to how Crumb, unknowingly, it's very similar to how Crumb did it. I once again flip my sword, stick it into the rat from the top, getting lodged in one of its, like, spine plate thingies, and just... Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Get it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> All right. That's what happens. Um, we're going to stay in turn order for another couple minutes here. Uh, we're coming to the end of the session, but there's more. Mm. Albert, what do you do? Is that, is that Cobalt down there just not acting at all, I guess? He's attempting to, uh, he, he's, he's kind of moving around. He's looking for a good place 
to climb up. He hasn't quite found it yet. He's ten feet down. He's only three feet tall. Yeah. So I'll take a five foot step yeah. right there and move in. You see more of this room now. Yeah. I'll yell at him in Draconic. I'll say, "Don't move," or I'll I'll uh, splash you. And I'll ready. <laughs> Can I ready my splash action? Or yeah, my I'll splash you. Um. Can you ready a spell? I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, for okay. now. Uh. Understood. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. But um. Also. Okay. I can Yeah. Also, it's your turn, and you take another point of bleed damage. Indeed, I do. All over my fine. Well then, I'm going to um, take my five foot step. I'm just going to splash him again, and then you know, if I hit him, I'm just going to tell him he splashed. <laughs> He's moving. You've been uh, splashed. I'm going to take off that buff. Uh, sure. Give us that. Give us that uh, splash attack roll. And Father Matthias, um, you are right behind Albert. He is leaving a small trail of blood. Um, Father Matthias takes a step closer to Albert and uh, reaches out and touches him and heals him with a spell. Pure light wounds. Alright, uh, Albert and Matthias, can you please retrieve your torches from Crumb? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, <laughs> that cures bleed, right? Yeah, Mag- it does. Magical healing will stop the bleed. Stop the bleed. Torch. These torches. The other day, my dad was reading a news article, and he said these palm trees are being attacked by the beetles. I was like, the beetles, really? <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> the beetles. Not, not just like a type of beetles. The beetles. Okay. Um, all right. So Math- Matthias does that. Crumb, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna go south actually and make sure that uh, Ulrich's okay. Can't move. Let me just click drag. Ulrich looks happy as a Viking in dire rat blood, which is exactly what he is. Ulrich I was going to um, say digging shit. I figured I could do better than that. Well, Ulrich thinks. Uh, oh, how much? How much should I move? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, I'll double move back. And uh, Nighttail, uh, you know, offers to go in front of Ulrich. She doesn't know the marching order. Um, what do you, what does Ulrich want of her? Stops her. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> where, where do you want Nighttail, Ulrich? Are we out of combat? Or? Well, oh, now sorry, that, sir. I thought... now, now, that, now that the bleed has stopped, you are out of combat. But I did need to continue to tick that down round by round. Uh, but now that that's stopped, um, but I don't want to end turn order before we get through the turn order. So, Ulrich, what, what you got anything there? Yeah, I, I will allow her to go through. I'll like step All aside. Right. All right. So she'll, so she'll go in front of you then. And, and then you'll bring up the rear. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm feeling like we're, we're calling it soon. I'm going to push us just another minute or two. <sighs> what, what happens next? Um, lizard in the hole. What about it? I uh, look at Crumb. What do you do? Want to do with this thing? I guess it's like trying to crawl up. Kind of walks up and like 
scrubs his nose. Is it a threat? It's down there. It's it's uh, taken. Uh, it maybe has a like a sprained ankle from falling, and it's got uh, some some acid burns on it. Um, it is it sees you up there, and it's not really attempting to make this climb because what's it gonna do? Climb up there and take you all on? Um, so it's just kind of like like cowering down in the in the crevasse. Tell to surrender. It wants to live. Um, uh, yell on Draconic. Surrender, fiend, if uh, you want a chance to walk out of here. It'll, uh, like, drop to its knees and put its hands over, like, covering its head. <laughs> what are the rules for jumping down 10 feet? Uh, we can look that up in acrobatics. I believe if you intend to jump, then there's a there's a modifier. Um, off off of memory, it's uh, you do an acrobatics, and you can ignore the first ten feet if you succeed. if you pass. Yeah. Can I ask Nighttail? They know this guy. I guess do you know this one. I I didn't get a good look at him. She, she says from way back behind Crumb. Oh, come over here and get a good look. Uh, she tries to squeeze through, but there's just not enough room. It can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like a kobold can literally just go between our legs. <laughs> you don't want to. Okay. Um. Um, again, let me let me read this room. The ceiling of this chamber rises to a lofty twelve feet. The cave floor drops away into a pair of long ten foot deep pits. Between them, a ridge of stone forms a dubious walkway to a landing on the opposite side. So, where Matthias and Albert now stand is sketchy. Uh, I just asked I asked the Kobo in the crevasse what his name is in Draconic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> My intention is to ask if, if y'all his name to uh, tonight to, if he tells me. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> he he says long long tail <laughs> is his name. Matthias, get a crossbow on him. Albert, I will throw a rope down for him. He disarms himself and surrenders fully. Mean him no uh, harm if he means us no harm. I repeat the message in Draconic. He easily takes this little spear off his shoulder and throws it, you know, ten feet away. And uh, his his sling and his little bag of rocks. He's just, you know, down there, uh, looking at looking at his at his feet. I'm gonna throw a rope uh, down for him. Who? Wait, who's doing what? From a throw it's a only, rope down. only only Albert can do anything in mm-hmm. your guys' positioning here. Oh, okay. You, you see how you're at, and and this this little walkway that Albert's on is again uh, not something that you guys can just like oh we'll just walk through each other's squares. You oh, know, okay. This is this is a little cra- crazy setup here. Uh, okay. Can uh, I'm just gonna hand a rope to Ulrich. And then go down, I guess, 10 feet. Uh, Okay, you guys cannot share each other's squares or pass through each other's squares on this thin, dubious walkway between 10-foot pits. Right, no, I'm trying to get off the walkway and go down 10 feet. 